all right i'm doing a quick video on how to check the pcv valve on my toyota vits to see if it is in good working order well, i had done this check before but i am going to redo it just for the sake of the viewers and to show you where the pcv valve is on this vehicle it is still a three cylinder engine and the pcv valve is located right here so in order to remove the PCV valve to see if it is working properly, I have to take off all of this compartment where the air filter is located and remove it from the throttle body right here. And I'm going to take off the air compartment right now. First, pull the pins that holds the air compartment together and then I'm going to lift it. Oh, I would have to whittle it a bit in order to get it free so wiggling it removing it from the throttle body will take a little time all right so here I remove the ear compartment and I can just remove the air filter, put it one side. So here we have the, the space to, to take out the PCV valve. Now the PCV valve is just a push fit on this vehicle and I kind of like this design because if compression should develop within the top of the cylinder head here the PCV valve can all can can be pushed out by the compression unlike the screw on type if compression builds up inside the engine it can cause the top of the the cylinder head to to explode so this is a good design and I like this design and it's just some clips that hold the PCV valve to the hose and the PCV valve apart from connecting here it goes right down here is a hose. hose and it is connected to the bottom of the intake system where it goes into the, the combustion chamber so that that pressure that de develops on top of the the cylinder head it is entered into the PCV valve and travels down into the into the um the intake manifold and re-enters the engine and goes into the the combustion chamber so in order to remove this pcv valve and just a point of note the pcv valve only operate in this direction so that means air that develops on the cylinder head can can be pushed through into the pcv valve past the valve enter the intake of the system so in order to remove this PCV valve first we're going to whittle this clip a bit and push it forward or push it backward to give us some freedom of access and we can basically pull pull the, the, the hose here there are some wires in the way but I think we can move the, the valve Pass those wires you have to be careful because the PCV valve is made from plastic and it can be broken or it can break if you're not careful so I'm just gonna try and whittle the hose off the valve here so here we're removing the hose from the valve you can just do a an inspection of the hose not much oil inside here and then we can just check here not much oil and you basically pull the PCV valve out after we glitter a bit pull it out all right so here's the PCV valve one way to check if it is working properly is to shake it don't know if you hear that rattling sound the rattling sound of the p 
PCV valve tell you that the ball that is located in the valve is moving and you want to hear that hear it again and turn it around okay so you hear the ball moving and you want to hear that because that ball restrict the ear when it is placed so that no ear flow back in this direction but ear flows in that direction only all right and basically there is no mistake whenever you're putting on back the PCV valve because this section goes back into the top of the cylinder head here where the plastic is located and it is much larger than the section that goes into the hose that is connected to the intake so this hose that is connected to the intake so here we are just a quick check um, another check that you can do is to put your mouth on one section the cleaner part of the PCV valve and push air through it in one way and then pull it back in the other way so you push the air through the PCV valve that way and then you pull it back in that way and when you push the air this way the ear should be stopped you cannot go in this direction but when you pull the ear in this way you can feel the free flow of air coming back in this direction so this can also help to tell you if the PCV valve is working properly or not um, so I'm going to just plug in back the PCV valve and this is a, just a quick demonstration of removing the PCV valve from this vehicle and to show how the PCV valve works. Alright, thank you for watching and see you next time.